unfortunate that uh, last night Israel went and sent a missile over to Iran and uh, hopefully that'll be the end of it. There'll be no more back and forth. But I saw a lot of uh, articles saying that uh, World War III was going to start and all this and I, I thought what good is the back and forth sending missiles and drones and that and this back and forth to each other when all you have to do is the leaders of each country have to get together give each other a big hug and say let's let's help each other instead of hurting it's all you have to do but unfortunately that's not the way the world works and it never has since humans have been on it it's always the opposite you do something and they have to do something and it never ends and the ever-ending hate fest continues. We don't like them. They don't like us. We can't stand them. They're doing this. They're doing that. And the people that do the hating don't even know the people they're hating. They've been told by their cult leader to hate somebody and to make sure that you always hate on those people because they're doing this and they're doing that, even though that's probably not the case. Um, if people do a little research, I think they would find out that people are just people and they're the same as you and same as me and that they're not going to do any more than you do to them. Forget all the hate and forget following leaders that cause all the hate. And let's get on with the environmental news today. It's not good news, but it is what it is. From shallow water reefs in the Red Sea to the Caribbean coral reefs, to the rugged branching corals that form the structure of the Great Barrier Reefs. The past year brought bleaching, decline, and death to the coral reefs and the world. So our coral reefs around the world are seeing severe bleaching, severe degradation, and death. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the International Coral Reef Institute today confirmed the scope of the recent reef damage. It's severe. They have announced that prolonged ocean heat waves caused the fourth global bleaching episode. This happened in 1998, 2010, 2014, and 2017. In the past 12 months, bleaching has been documented in both the northern and the southern hemispheres of the world. The bleaching has persisted across the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. In both Florida last summer on the Great Barrier Reefs during severe heat wave events, they didn't have to bleach, they just melted and died immediately. In one day, the colorful and healthy reefs look, and then the next week, they're all dead. It just takes about a week, and, and the heat wave comes through the ocean and kills off the reefs immediately. More and more frequent water temperatures are rising more than three degrees C above normal summer maximum. Brazil is going through it right now. They're experiencing record-setting ocean heat waves, stress that they've never seen before. So we'll have to see what happens with the rest of the world this summer. So again, this is all being caused by the use of pretty much fossil fuel use, the use of coal and the, the use of uh, industry. Of course, it's up to us to try and reduce our footprint, our carbon footprint, so that we do not uh, pollute the planet, at least ourselves, we know we don't do that. And that we vote in leaders that do more than the leaders that don't do anything at all and do just the opposite. It's better to have some than none at all as far as uh, trying to reduce our carbon footprint around the world. It is mostly up to the leaders around the planet. Now I appreciate the people on the radios, both Ham and CB, for coming on my site and giving me uh, more hits and more population. So I appreciate you guys coming by. Until next time.